Wait, hold up there. I have to say something. Wait, what? You know, these bitches are living life on easy mode. Just flash their tits and all the sims follow them. That right? I'm talking to you. You sexy cyborg. You're cheating at YouTube. You're using your boobs to hypnotize honest men who hate boobs and would not look at them if you weren't checking them into it. And that's just wrong. You have your boobs here and your tech here. You can't go mixing them together like peanut butter and jelly, like the bananas and ice cream. Boobs have to stay separate from everything else. If you have them, you can't go doing technical things while you have boobs. It's wrong and it's cheating. Come on, we've all read comments like that, right? Naomi is cheating because we all know what an honest, respectable company you do is, right? They definitely follow and enforce their own rules fairly. No, of course they don't. I've got bad news for you, buckaroos and buckarats. Life is not fair. Not for me, not for you, not for anyone. My dad taught me you are almost never going to be given fair without a fight. Not a fair wage, not a fair price, not a fair chance. You want fair? You make it fair. Conduct your own affairs with integrity. But remember, life is a dirty, rotten cheat. You give fair, you take fair. But never make the mistake of expecting someone is going to walk up out of the blue and just give you fair. Now my business is YouTube. And YouTube runs a business. Their job is to make money. Their job is not to be fair to you or I or anyone else. Sure, they can make money with me, but they can make money with lots of people. They have no incentive to send me traffic that they can send to someone safer, someone more presentable, someone that makes fewer people uncomfortable. Chinese lesbian with giant fake titties doing tech? Next, that is about as dicey a business model as it gets. Why risk it? Plenty of others can bring the same numbers I do with no controversy, no downside. The brilliant thing about YouTube is they've been able to successfully transfer all the accountability for a business model that picks winners and losers onto software. Oh, it's not us, it's the algorithm. And people who don't have a background in software development or machine learning generally believe it, as if YouTube doesn't have absolute 100% granular control over the software that runs their multi-billion dollar business. It has some mind of its own. You will see people who absolutely tie themselves in knots to defend YouTube, explain policy, and attribute complex motivations to the fairly simple software that YouTube uses to help run its business. These are the same people who think cops aren't allowed to lie to you. They actually think you two can lie for some reason. Corporations are not your friends. They are not honest. They lie. They get caught lying all the time. And go on lying. You two curious and lies about it. Because business is business. But people still defend them. Technically, it's manifestation of the judge's world fallacy and it's a powerful cognitive bias. And I know folks in the comments are going to do that again. We really want to believe in a fair world that if something happens, you must have done something to make that happen. But the reality is, YouTube is a content business like Netflix. And part of that business is picking what content is going to be presented front and center to your audience as representative of your brand. It's trivial to tweak account settings of larger accounts so they're seen less and their reels flatter. And other accounts that have less potential for controversy while still bringing in the same income showing up more often. And I'm going to show you one of the ways they do that. Now, I've been throttled this way for years, but I'm used to it and don't make a big deal of it on my channel. Despite YouTube's best efforts, I still build a decent sized channel. Although with so many of my videos demonetized just for me looking like myself, 
my channel is not a very profitable one. But for those of you who think I do it on easy mode and I'm cheating while other folks do it the hard way, let me show you something. Okay, this is Alan Penn, sufficiently advanced. He is just the nicest, coolest guy, one of my favorite YouTubers. Okay, this video is rebuilding a 30-year-old meme invention and I'm gonna search for that by its exact name. And boom, there we go! Right up at the top just like it should be, we all know how search engine works. Let's try redeeming a failed Kickstarter product. There we go, right at the top. And again, you know how it's gonna work, fixing one of Mythbusters' biggest mistakes. And you search for and it comes up at the top under Alan's name as expected. One more, real resin game version 2, awesome cosplay prop. And he comes up at the top. I don't know what that is. Maybe I should go back and watch that. Can I be the $20,000 battle bot with garbage? Well, it's Alan Penn, so I'm pretty sure he can. And then there he goes right up at the top making people mad by fixing other YouTubers inventions. And yeah, I mean, you know how search engine works, of course, he's gonna come up under the name of his own videos. Okay, now let's try one of my videos, the JingPad A1. I'm gonna copy that and paste that into the search window. And boom! Well, <laughs> this, no, that satisfying relaxed video. That's not my channel. That somebody else uploaded the video. Now we search for the exact name of this video, but all of these that come up are from other channels, not the exact name, and most of them have far, far lower views, so they aren't even as popular. The Power 5K VR headset, I'm gonna search for that. Exact name and nothing. Oh, no, somebody else can upload it and make money off of it, but I can. But I kind of own them because hopefully they'll find me when they see those thumbnails. That's why I don't really mind people using my videos because it's one way people find me because mine are usually shadow banned and they don't come up. I understand a lot of you want to say, oh, it's the way you dress or oh, it's your content or oh, it's the thumbnail. If that's what was getting the videos flat, all the other videos would also be getting flat. Or the people who also uploaded my videos and used the same thumbnail and the same content, they would get flagged also. So it's not about the content. It's about my channel specifically being targeted or they will be having the same exact restrictions. Also not limited to any one type of video where I'm showing a lot of skin or anything. It's just any video that as well ends up getting hidden from the search engine result. Just being a popular video, no matter what I'm wearing, it's enough for them to hide that video and only allow to show up like here is Becky Button. I wanted to raise some money for her after her accident. That's not a crazy outfit, you know, it's a t-shirt and shorts. But that video is hidden and it's literally just a fundraiser for an American girl who got in a bad accident. You know, there is nothing sexy about that video. But they hide it and only shows up where other people uploaded it. Okay, this video of Kim and I on a day, it's actually got restricted at 18 and up. Maybe I'm trying to trick some of you in dating women or something, but it is restricted. But if you search for it, it pops right up under other people's channel. It's not restricted. They can upload it, no problem. It's only restricted if it's on my channel. Okay, we're gonna be here all day. I mean, it's almost half the videos on my channel. So I'm just gonna run through them real quickly. When you see a thumbnail that comes up, it's always somebody else's video that uploaded it, not my video, even though you see it in the results. It looks like it's mine that's showing up, but it is not. All of these videos, my best videos are hidden from the results. Here, let me show you.
interesting, right? I'll put the links in the description so you can try for yourself. See how many of my videos are hidden, then go check out another tech or DIY channel and see how many of theirs are. Still, these are what they call first row problems, right? Now I'm lucky. Most of my classmates are working the line at a factory. Mom worked the line her whole life and the work was hard. Growing up, she taught me about bad bosses and fair bosses, bosses that try and duck your pay and take what you earned fair and square. That's just how the world works. And YouTube is a lying, cheating, wage stealing boss just like all the rest. You can't cheat at a rig game and I'm certainly not cheating just showing up for work wearing the same clothes I wear to the grocery store. I'm not complaining. These are just the facts of running my channel as you can see for yourself. Sure, with them hiding more and more of my highest earning videos every month, I won't lie. It's been getting pretty tight, harder to find views, but I'm going to keep at it as long as I can or until you do hide so many I can't afford to continue. Mama didn't raise a quitter, but I got to pay the bills. And that's my choice. I can get some other kind of job. Most of my friends with similar skill sets make quite a bit more than I do. But as for cheating or doing this on easy mode, well, I've got it easier than some, harder than others. There's no free lunch and life's not fair. But find me someone else in DIY or tech whose best videos don't come up when people search for them and I'll believe you that I have an unfair advantage. Just a little something to think about. That's it for today. I have more bills coming up soon. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it.